Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today on Sip the Tyler Films, we're going to talk a bit, talk a little bit about our quarterback, Lamar Jackson. And there's a clip out there going well, it went viral when he talked about him wanting to throw for six thousand yards. That's a whole lot of yards, and I really just wanted to come in and give my realistic expectations for Lamar Jackson for 2023. And why do I say my realistic numbers? Because 6,000 yards, if he puts his mind to it, he can do it. I don't really want to doubt Lamar, but if I was a bet man and I had to bet money on it, these are numbers that I would put on Lamar, you know, to say he would hit those numbers. So that's why I said my realistic goals. So what I'm going to do is take you on a little journey of numbers from his past all the way up to present and then give you the numbers I think he's going to have in 2023. Roll the intro. All right, let's get this thing started. But before we get this thing started, like the video. And if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when all these videos drop throughout the 2023 season. But let's get started on Lamar's numbers. So let's go back to 2018 when we brought a guy in for Joe Flacco who was hurt. Played in seven, or so started in seven games. Um, had a 6-1 and one record in those games. Brought us back from basically out of playoff contention and we ended up making the playoffs. And, um, you know, had a nice little run but ended up playing his worst game of that stretch in the playoffs. Um, that year, threw for 1,200 yards in just those seven starts with six touchdowns, three interceptions. And, you know, as far as the running, I give you his running numbers for that time too because, you know, they kind of – we were running the ball then because that's kind of what we needed him to do at the time. Uh, Greg Roman was not the coordinator at the time. He was, I want to say, the tight ends coach, but that was a kind of prelude to, to what was coming. Um Rushing, he rushed for 695 yards in those seven games. So, kind of see, you know, what was going on there. Threw for 1,200, rushed for just under 700 yards. So, that was his, basically his rookie year, his freshman year, rookie year in the NFL. Started those last seven games and brought us back. Brought us from obscurity to he saved some jobs. I was trying not to go there, but he saved some jobs. And so come now, you know, they made Greg Roman the offensive coordinator. 2019, the MVP year, the numbers for that year, we were 13-2 and two as a team. He threw for 3,127 yards, 26 touchdowns, only six interceptions. As far as the rushing, he rushed for 1,206 yards. 1,206 yards. Unanimous MVP. Unanimous. That means everybody that had a vote voted for Lamar. Everybody that had a vote voted for Lamar Jackson. That ain't been done a lot. It ain't been done a lot. Now, I don't know how many times it's been done. I know it hadn't been done a lot. But it, if you're watching this in the comment section or in the chat box or whatever, if you know the other times it's been done, put it in the put it in the comment section and let me know and let the rest of the audience know i know it's been done once and i'm sure it's been done i'm i'm assuming it's been done other times but i know it's been done once let's go to 2020 we were 11 and 4 uh, he threw for 2700 yards 2757 yards 26 touchdowns nine interceptions as far as rushing in 2020 rushed for 1000 five yards now in 2020 that's when we start the injury book start kind of you know getting on us a little bit and he only played in no the injury book didn't start hitting us that year not yet the injury book hit us in a playoff game that year the injury not in the play, regular season the injury book hit us in a playoff game so he played 15 games that year didn't play that regular season fanatic so that was, those are full full season numbers the injury book in the regular season hit us the next year in 2021 played only 12 games 75 in those 12 games was on his way to a monster year just in those 12 games 2,882 yards almost 3,000 yards in 12 games 
almost 3,000 yards in 12 games. As far as rushing in those 12 games, 776. In just 12 games, he was on his way to having a monster year. Got hurt. Come back last year. Finished up with, again, only played, what, eight games? I'm sorry, only played 12 games. I apologize. Only played 12 games. 2,242 yards. Rushing-wise, 764. So very similar numbers rushing-wise. Now, totally, let's give you his total numbers for his whole career so far, and then we'll get into my projections. Overall, his career, he's played in 70 games, and they people try to say the narrative is he can't finish seasons. Two fluke situations. Two. Just two fluke situations. Could have happened to anybody. I don't think you can label Lamar as a guy that can't finish the season. Those are two fluke injuries that, that happened, and I don't think he's a injury-prone quarterback. And I'm not just saying that as a homer because I'm a Ravens fan. I think those are fluky situations. But again, 61 games started. His overall record, 45-16 and 16 in the regular season. If I'm not mistaken, the only person that has a better record Percentage-wise, it's Pat Mahomes, if I'm not mistaken. The only person that has a better percentage-wise is Pat Mahomes. 1,055 completions, 1,655 attempts. So that's 63.7% completion percentage. Yards-wise, 12,209 yards, 101 TDs in a five-year span. 101 TDs. He has a 6.1% TD percentage. 38 interceptions, a 2.3% 38, I'm sorry, 2.3% interception percentage. Not bad. Total QBR for Lamar Jackson. Total QBR. Total. But they don't do total. They do it by games or whatnot. So let me, let me stay off of the QBR for a minute. Let me stay off the QBR. Let me stay off of it. I don't want to add the QBR on it. Just Let's just say he's had, if I'm not mistaken, four perfect games QBR-wise. He's had four already. Put it like that. And he's he's been in the league five years. He's had four perfect QBRs. Four. So now let's kind of get into my projections. My realistic projections. Now, do I think he's gonna get six thousand yards? No. Can he get six thousand? Yes. He he's that dynamic. He's that dynamic. But let, these are the numbers that I think he's gonna get. And if I had to go to a sports book and Cash, this is what I would do. Not telling you to do it, because if you do this and you don't win, don't come looking for me. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Like old boy said, like Cameron said, and um, not Cameron, uh, Makai Fife said in, in in the movie, I'm broke, baby. I ain't got it. <laughs> so <laughs> touchdowns. I mean, yardage wise. Now, fact, let's stick to the run game first. Stick to the run game first. I think he's gonna hover around that 700 yards rushing. That's kind of the the magical number, and I don't think he's going to far goes you know figure straight from that but i think he's going to get these yards differently than normal because he used to get a lot of uh quarterback counter counter bash i think he's going to get numbers now in the drop back passing game he's going to drop back people may or may not be open and he's going to get out the pocket and get yards like that now he's gotten yards like that in the past just not as much i think it's going to flip flop i think he's still going to get rushing yards it just won't be the quarterback runs, the design runs. I think he'll have a few design runs, but I think he'll get yardage as with with all the spacing we we're going to have with great passing concepts. He'll have alleys to run and, and slide and, and run out of bounds and stuff like that. He'll get 700 yards just off that, just off that. Uh, TDs, I only got him at five TDs because I think most of his TDs probably come off quarterback sneaks. I don't think he's going to break those long runs and score. Like he used to, because I think he's going to be smart and get out of bounds. Now, every once in a while, he may break a long one, and nobody's around him, and he take that thing to the crib. And but I think most of them, his his quarter, his touchdowns will be off QB sneaks. Passing thing, which is what everybody is, you know, wondering about, because we got these receivers, we got our tight ends back. Uh, o line is pretty good for the most part. What are we gonna do in the passing game, coach? This is these are the numbers I have, and then we're gonna get up out of here. Yardage wise. I got him at 4,080 yards. That's my number. 
4,080 yards. Touchdown wise, I got him at 40 on the dot. 4 0. 40 on the dot. Well, since he's going to throw more, we're probably going to have a bunch more interceptions, correct? I don't think so. I don't think so. Over his career, he's had three interceptions, six interceptions, nine interceptions, 13 interceptions, seven interceptions. The 13 interceptions came on that year where he was about to have a monster year. Now, I think his interceptions will be higher than those other years, but I don't think he gets the 13. I think he's going to get the 10. I got him at 10 interceptions. And let me tell you why. Yeah, there are going to be some interceptions that are not his fault. And I think there are going to be some interceptions that are his fault. Because I think he's going to try to fit some balls in. And he's going to be successful fitting some balls in. But he's going to be unsuccessful in fitting some balls in. So the, the give or take ratio of that. And the fact that there are probably going to be some tip balls every now and then. I got him at 10. So I think TD to interception ratio is going to be 4 to 1. 40 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I'll take that all day, every day. All day, every day. Completion percentage. Completion percentage over his career. Rookie year, 58. Next, 66. Next, 64. 64 again. And last year, 62.3. I think Lamar steps this up. This is where he has his biggest increase. I think he hit 70% this year. 7-0. I think he hit 70% completion percentage. And that's going to be his biggest jump right there. His biggest jump. And that's why we're going to win as many games right there. 70% completion percentage. And our passing game will go through the roof, which is going to open up our run game too. So these are my bank it, my clip it, and ship it, and book it numbers. And this is why these are my realistic expectations for Lamar Jackson in 2023. I appreciate everybody for coming out. And if you have not liked the video, please do so. Like the video. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. And if you are a subscriber, hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop. I appreciate y'all for coming out. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. This is the last weekend for preseason football. We ain't got to see no more second and third stringers after this. Thankfully. And uh, real football is on the horizon, people. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.